Hello and welcome back to Implus Workshop 4. We're going to talk about Demo 13, which is um, a model by McDonald and Clullen from 1984, where they investigated sentiments uh, towards unions. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this particular uh, example. McDonald and Clullen conducted research in a northern Georgia community in the textile production industry. Textile production moved south in the late 19th century to find a working culture where class relations are less antagonistic. So in the south, it was believed that, that but a paternalistic attitude uh, would affect the textile workers in a similar way to tenancy to, the, uh, in agriculture. So this research sought to identify how attitudes and relationships were affecting attitudes towards unions. The data here in the models do not thoroughly reflect the research by McDonald and Cleland, but start there and make a good pedagogical case. Um, I've pro provided this background just to aid in interpretation. In fact, uh, this example with the data was included in the Schumacher and Lomax textbook, and they simplified it quite a bit. But if you're interested in following the threads, you should start there. All right, so the survey asked some questions. Um, do the workers remain deferential to the authority of mill owners like they, like others do, um, the uh, farm agricultural tenants towards the agricultural um, owners? And if so, does the deference affect union sentiment? To research this, they administered a questionnaire to a random sample of textile workers. And their sample, the ultimate sample you'll see is N equals 173. Um, so union statement, I'm sorry, union sentiment, this variable, reflects a positive attitude towards unions. And backing up a bit, deference refers to submission to authority. And support means support for labor activism, meaning a willingness to support a strike. Age is the age of the worker, years is the number of years in the industry. So now let's look at this model and how it would look in M+. To start with, I want you to see what the data looks like. So here is a covariance matrix. And as I mentioned, this is, uh, we can sometimes have a full data set that's read into M plus and sometimes we can have summarized data and this is a case where we're not going to have any intercepts at all where all of our intercepts are going to be zero we have no means we just have a covariance matrix so we'll only be able to see coefficients all right now let's look at M plus all right so here is uh the INP file demo 13 I have it open in M plus and I think I'm going to end up pausing this to realign it. All right, this should help. Now you should be able to see this a little better. So you can see that our data set is a demo13.txt. It's a covariance data set. We have 173 observations. And there are the names, uh, type equals general. And then there, are, there is the model. Deference is uh, regressed on age, support on age and deference and sentiment on de deference, support, and years. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. All right. So the first thing to look at is, as I mentioned, we like it's good to look at the chi-score test to see uh, if this model fits the data well. And we can see that the p-value is not statistically significant. So what that means is the model, um, the implied covariance matrix and the uh, data covariance matrix are not statistically significantly different. And so therefore this is a good fitting model. All right, so now let's look at some of the results. We see that the um, estimates for the regression coefficients are all have a two tailed p-value less than 0.05. So they're all statistically significantly different than zero. And so what I'm going to do now is talk to you about the mediation effect. In order to do that, I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint and I want you to look at this. Okay, 
So here is a snapshot that reflects the result of the three variables that have a, a mediated relationship. So deference has a negative effect on sentiment. So the higher the deference, the lower the positive relationship or positive attitude towards um, unions. The higher the deference though, also that reduces the support for activism in labor. But the higher the support of activism in, for labor, the higher this positive sentiment towards um, unions. I'm going to show you uh, a term that you can add in the syntax that will provide you with all the information over here. So let me put this on pause and I'll get the it plus syntax up again. So I have opened the file demo 13 underscore mediation. Everything about this model is exactly the same as the one we just looked at, except for these statements right here. Under the model statement, you can have a statement that says model indirect. And then you can say support, IND, and age, and sentiment, IND, defer. And what this does, it requests the output of the direct, the indirect, and the total effects, comparing support and age and sentiment with deference. Now in our situation, I'm only going to look at sentiment and deference. The support and age relationship is complicated by uh, other variables uh, in the middle of that path. So I'm going to run this. I'm going to show you. See, we have everything is the same. Uh, just a reminder that you get when you ask for some of the output uh, options, you do get an R squared. That, tells you how much of the variance in the dependent variables explained by the model. But here we see uh, this relationship between deference to sentiment, and it breaks it up into total effect. It tells you the direct, indirect effect and the direct effect. Now I'm going to show you this on the path model. Uh, oh, but before I do that, let me just once again just show, remind you, let me move this again. Uh, I can't seem to open it up. Okay, I'm going to pause. All right, so this is the diagram in M plus that you get when you go into the diagram drop down uh, menu and request the diagram, and there it is. So it provides you with all of the uh, paths, the coefficients, and the variances as well, the residual variances. All right, so now I'm going to just focus in on uh, deference sentiment and support, that particular mediated relationship. So if you, uh, I don't have it side by side in this video, but if you look at the output from M plus, you'll see that all of these different variables are reflected in that output. So you don't have to set this up yourself. Um, M plus will provide you with the uh, composition, the decomposition of the mediation model. Um, so hopefully that will help you. And so just to summarize, I want to go through this model uh, that it ran properly and that the model implied variance covariance matrix is not signif significantly different than the data variance covariance matrix, that all the coefficients are significant, that age has a significant direct effect on difference and support, that difference support and years are all, all have significant direct effect on sentiment, and deference also had a significant direct effect on support. We also had indirect effects from the mediators, so deference has a mediating effect between age and sentiment, and support has a mediating effect from between age and sentiment through the deference pathways. So next I'm going to talk about demo 14, but I will do that in the next video.